you guys welcome back to my channel as you read the title i'm going to be telling you how to start a successful youtube channel in 2023 so i wrote down some things in my notes because i tend to talk a lot like i would keep talking keep talking keep talking so i wrote down some key points that um you guys need to know that's important the first thing you need is a phone now a lot of youtubers they they say that you do you need a camera. You do not need a camera. All you need is a phone. Now, this was my issue when I first started my YouTube channel. I had this. Well, this is an LG. And this is the phone I had. Do not get an LG. The camera is horrible. The next phone I had was a ZTE. Do not get a ZTE. Personally, I would get a Samsung. A Google Pixel. That's great. The camera quality is great on there. Now, for the people that want an iPhone route, what I suggest, you do not have to get a new iPhone. I'm recording on an iPhone 8 Plus right now. Personally, I prefer my iPhone 8 Plus. I have a, I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max. The camera on here is horrible to me. This camera is like really not good. I mean, it's horrible. But an iPhone 8 is on the pricey side. I got this iPhone for like 200 and some dollars. Another thing you would need is, I know a lot of YouTubers say you do not you need this, but you do need this, is a ring light. You definitely need a ring light. One thing about it, I didn't have a ring light when I um, started YouTube. And it was hell for me to record videos because I had to, Pit my phone on top of a book, a top of a top of a dresser. I had to hold it together. My mom bought me a wig, a wig stand, right? So I was taping my phone to the wig stand, and then the lighting is another thing. When you want to take videos at nighttime, you need a relay. Like now, I'm taking videos, and it's dark outside. Without this relay, I mean, my video would look like this. Nobody want to watch a video that look like this. <laughs> so yes, you are going to need a relight. A relight is very expensive too. It's on expensive time. A relight is a hundred and some dollars. But I'm telling you, it's really worth it. Apps you need for your YouTube. The uh, editing app I use is Kim Master. Now, the only thing that I'm good about Kim Master is, it will have a brand at the top of your video that says Kim Master, unless you pay for the trial. $22.00 for a year so it's actually pretty cheap $22 for a year I definitely pay for it because I don't want that brand to be at the top of my video so these are apps you need to download Kim Master Pixie Art YouTube Studio Airbrush Canvi okay what type of videos you need to build a successful YouTube channel the first thing you need to do is be consistent and stay committed now you definitely have to be consistent. That's one thing that I am not good at. When you first start your YouTube channel, you could not be making, you could not be posting videos once a month. How you just started and you only posted videos once a month? Yeah, you can't do that when you first start a YouTube video, YouTube channel, because you're not growing. Nobody knows who you are. So it, it wouldn't make sense for you to be posting videos once a month. Me personally, I know a lot of people say you should maybe you should post twice a week. If you are a new YouTuber and you, and you started at zero subscribers, you should be posting videos every day. YouTubers that are big, that has many subscribers, they're posting every day. So what makes you think somebody that is just started should be posted twice a week? Now, if you have, now if you're working or you're in school, that I can understand. Because you have to you have to balance school, work, and YouTube. But if you're just doing YouTube, why are you not posting? Because this is your job. And if you want to build, you can't build on something and not and you're not posting. I mean that's like trying to be an actor and not, not going to the auditions. How you gonna get be an actor if you're not going to the auditions? 
I know a lot of YouTubers say, find your niche. That bothers me so much. You're boxing yourself up. Say, say you're doing reaction videos, right? And your channel only consists of reaction videos. And then you want to start something else. What? You want to start vlogging. People are going to be t um, commenting on your videos. Where's your, where's your reaction videos? Or you're not going to be getting as much views as you were doing on your reaction videos. Because why? You box yourself up only to be a reaction channel. Now, if you want to do multiple things, me personally, I would say do multiple things and see what is getting you the most views. And also still do the other things too. So what I mean about that is, look, you need to do videos that you like and you need to do videos that you don't like. Now, let me explain that. What I mean by you need to do videos that you do like is, for example, I personally like to do story times right i like to do story time but i do uh bucky videos the bucky app the bucky app videos are getting me thousands of views my store my story time videos are giving me hundreds of views but i love to do my story times and i tolerate to do my bucky videos see how there's a balance there this is getting me at all my views but I'm still doing a thing that I love to do. Now you get it? So that you won't you won't be doing videos. Sometimes people that start their channel, they only do videos that they like they like to do and they're not getting no views. Other than doing the popular videos that other people do, TikTok videos and pranks and stuff. You might not like to do those, but you need to do them if you want to build your channel up or if you want to get views. Still do the thing that you love to do. And also do the things that you don't love to do. So that you still could be doing things you love and things that give you views. If that makes sense to you. The next question is, what video should you start with? A quick minute video just saying what your channel's about like. This channel, I'm going to be doing blah, 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 vlogging, so, 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 and then post that. I think that's a great first video. The next question is, how many times should you post? Like I said before. If you don't have a job or if you're if you are in school, post every day. Another thing is promote yourself. Now, basically how to promote yourself or promote yourself on all your social medias. Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Now I know if you're like me, I know a lot of people like um I don't wanna post my YouTube videos on my Snapchat because I'm scared of what my friends gonna think. That was me. I can't lie. That was me. I'm scared of what my friends gonna think. Cause I was in high school when I was doing YouTube. I'm scared of what my friends gonna think. If they gonna laugh at me. They're not gonna support me. Yeah, you need to get out of that. Because at the end of the day, you doing this for your friends' validation, or you doing this because you love YouTube and you want to grow and you want to be a star. I'm pretty sure you doing this because of yourself, not because of your friends. Who cares what your friends think? If they want to laugh at you, those ain't your real friends. And then another thing is, not everybody is going to support you. Your family might not even support you. Your friends are not going to support you. Unless you just have that great of friends. Me personally, I didn't have that. I don't have that. I don't have that family support or I don't have the friend support. Right now, I have no friends. Why? Because I, I don't have friends that was supportive. Or I don't have friends that had my back and do my videos. I don't have family members that, that are supportive. You don't need them. You don't need validations from friends or family. You do not need them. I I know I had I had two people that was like really, really supportive. And it, it was one of my brothers and my mother. My mother was like really, really supportive. I mean, she bought me backgrounds. She bought me... Uh, uh, she bought me a stand for my birthday to hang my backgrounds on. Like, my mama was supportive. She bought me tripod. You really only need that one person. And if you don't have that one person, support yourself. You don't need somebody to support you. You know, it, it is, don't get me wrong, it's nice to have that person. I was blessed enough to have my mother's support. But do I have my whole family support? No, my family do not support me. I literally post some of my skits on Facebook 
and my family is like laughing at it. Um, not laughing at a, oh my God, that's a good skit. Laughing like you're lame, basically. I mean, they're commenting on the video. What about what about cousins comment on my skit video? Oh, you trying to be a YouTuber? Ah, ha ha. Like, no, I'm not trying. I am. Thank you very much. Ah ha ha. It's gonna be real funny when I blow up. <laughs> like, like I said, you not need these people to support you. You gotta get out of that. That was that, like that. That would literally hold you back. Not wanting friends or family to see. Really, friends. I'm pretty sure it's friends. Not wanting your friends to see your videos. That's gonna hold you back. And that was my biggest problem. Now I don't have that problem because I don't have no friends. And plus, I don't care what they think. YouTube is my life and I, I love to do it. And I want to be a YouTuber so I can care less. So like I said, get yourself out of that mentality of you don't want your friends or you don't want your family to see or you have no support. You your support. Be your own support system. If I could do it, you can. Uh... This another thing is how to handle hate comments. Now, this is something that's gonna, if you're like, let me put this down. If you're like very sensitive, like, I'm very sensitive, but I'm very sensitive when it comes to family, not strangers. Now, if you're very sensitive, if somebody says something to you and it, it hurts, or you wanna get on, or you wanna, comment back at every hater that say something to you cut the comments off you don't need comments on your video if you're that type of person if you're sensitive or you or you want to comment and go back and forth with a stranger on the internet every time they say something bad about you literally cut your comments off you don't need comments on your video but this how to for the people that wants to overcome those comments or not let those people get to you this something I, that i did that maybe it will help somebody else. To, for me to get over the comments and stuff. What is this? I love YouTube. And this is something that I want to do. I want to do YouTube. And, I, and eventually I want to go into music. And I want to act. So why would I let a stranger... Why would I let a stranger tell me to stop, get to me so much that I don't want to, um, why would I let a stranger get to me so much that I don't want to dream or go to my dream or do what I love to do? That's one thing. Another thing is, these people are strangers at the end of the day. These are little kids talking about you. These are grow old people talking about you what other thing is who cares what they say if you know that you're a good person and you know that you're doing this because you love to do it don't let them get to you they don't get to me every time i see a comment and stuff i laugh about it why because thanks for the view <laughs> like you're helping me get views and you're helping me get money so thank you another thing is this now, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, I know this might sound real weird, but, like, this did help me. Go to the shade room, right? Go to the shade room. Look at the comments on the shade room. And look at some of those bad comments. Mostly all the shade room comments are bad. Look at those comments. Act like that these people are talking about you. So they get used to having bad comments talk about you because you're not going to have all nice comments then you can get used to it that's something that helped me i got I always got on the shade room or every time i see a bad comment i act like they're talking about me so that i can get used to it so that when it do come my way it don't hurt me because i already got used to it you know i think if you did that'll work because that and that actually worked for me i literally every time i see a bad comment stuff i imagine it was a i imagine they're talking about me and now that I get back, I miss. They bounce right off of me, baby. They don't hurt me. You can't let strangers at the end of the day. You cannot let, let strangers, friends, family not make you want to chase your dreams. Because at the end of the day, that's your life. And at the end of the day, that's your, those are your dreams. And at the end of the day, when you're big 
and you blow up, who's going to be laughing? You are because you're rich, you're famous, and you're successful. <laughs> okay, so what you need to be able to get monetized on YouTube, you're going to need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours. Now, I know that sounds like a lot because it very much is. It took me, I started YouTube in 2019. I got monetized in, I got monetized last year, or in 2020. It was like at the end of 19. So basically, I'm going to say, it took me two years to get monetized. The reason it took me two years to get monetized is because I wasn't consistent. You can't want to get monetized, if you, want, you can't want to get monetized and you're not even consistent. Imagine if I was consistent. I probably would have got monetized that same year. The subscribe to me, the subscribers are easy. It's the four thousand watch hours that get you. The longer your video is, the more watch hours you're gonna get. Especially if the if people are gonna watch. Say if you got a two minute video, and that video got a million views, you probably got like what a thousand watch hours just for that video, cause it's so short. Now imagine if that video was thirty minutes long. And you got a million views on that video. You didn't probably reach your 4,000 wash hours already. But I feel like you could get 4,000 wash hours and you get 4,000 subscribers if you post. I mean, 4,000 wash hours and 1,000 subscribers if you post consistently every day. And you posted a lot of videos. Like, say you posted like DB Nation. All of you know DB Nation when they first started. These guys are posting like 12 videos a day. And look at them now. Like 12 videos a day. These YouTubers are posted. These these top YouTubers are literally posted every day. DDG. That man posted almost every day. Um, Dub. He's posted every day. And they already have clout. They can literally post once a month. But they post every day. Why? Because it's building. It's building their channel more and more. So if YouTubers that already have the clout. is posted every day. What you think you need to do? You need to be posted every day. So yeah, it is going to be hard to get... To me, it was harder for me to get the 4,000 wash hours, like I said. To me, I feel like it's going to be harder to get the 4,000 wash hours. But you need to be posting videos that are long. So yeah, that's everything you need for a successful YouTube channel. Especially for a small YouTuber like myself. Because I just... I just watch a lot of these videos and I feel like a lot of these... Uh, big YouTubers, they don't tell you everything. Oh, they telling you things that you don't need, like a camera. You don't need a camera. You need a phone. What do you pay? What do you need a camera for? You don't even have a laptop. <laughs> like, like, what do you? Why are you bad a camera? And you don't even have a laptop. People don't have money. So, it, it's like they don't think about. They don't think about the people that don't have money because why they have money, and you talk to us. It's like they. They forgot what they came from. That's everything that you're going to need to build a successful YouTube channel in 2023. So thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Get this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. Be breezy.